From America's farm to Fort Capital and some of the richest farmland in the world, it's time for What's in Season with Michael Marks. Hey, thank you for joining us. Welcome to this month's edition of What's in Season with Michael Marks. I love August. I know the, the dog days of summer, hot August nights, and there's so much going on in August, starting to get kids back to school. But when it comes to produce, it's all about melons, the wonderful world of melons. And we're gonna do a masterclass today, a masterclass on all the different varieties of melons that you find in the produce market these days. Also, Mandy Bottoms is with us from Ag in the Classroom. Kids are starting to think about heading back to school, so we're gonna do a California trail mix. That's right, a California trail mix using wonderful California products. Can't wait to show you that. Uh, plus, uh, Dr. Chelsea Zarkon is with us, and she's gonna do uh, a smoothie that she did for Martha Stewart. In fact, it appeared in Martha Stewart's magazine. So she's gonna do a, a very healthy smoothie that you're gonna love. Adam Peckle, Chef Adam Peckle is also gonna be here cooking up something summery today. So let's talk melons. When most people think of melons, they think of watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. And yes, that does account for about 85% of all the melons. But check this out. Look at all of these different varieties of melons. Now we can put melons in a couple different categories. Any melon that has what I call a net on it. This is a net. Uh, any melon that has a net. It's in the musk melon family, and that's what we call it. It is a musk melon. So I can teach you actually how to pick out a melon in 10 seconds or less. When it's a musk melon, 10 seconds or less. Now, when you buy a five pound sugar, right? That little tiny bag, five pound sugar, and you pick it up. Oh my goodness, it's heavy, isn't it? Why? Sugar is heavy. So when you pick out a melon, the very first thing I want you to do, pick it up. It better be heavy for its size. It better feel like a five pound bag of sugar in your hand. If it does, probably gonna be a lot of sugar in there. Now when it comes to musk melons, what does the word musk mean? That's right, strong aroma. So pick it up, it's heavy, smell it. Does it have a strong aroma? If it does not have a strong aroma, put it down and find another melon. So when it comes to musk melons, that's one of the easiest ways to pick out a musk melon. But look at all these other melons here. Uh, these are not musk melons. They have, no, they have no net on them. So how do you pick these out? Very simply. Uh, first of all, when you pick them up, again, sugar. It better be heavy for its size. Second thing, look at the color. The color had better be rich, a very rich color. In fact, richer the color, the richer the flavor. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, I just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different varieties of melons here today. There are more. I don't have a cassava melon. I don't have a Crenshaw melon. Oh, my mom's favorite melon, a Crenshaw, known as the king of melons, because they used to be, be quite large, a cassava melon. But I do have a couple melons here quite old. This is called a Santa Claus melon. It's one of the older melons. Uh, they call it a Santa Claus because this is one of the oldest melons. Uh, and it usually is still in the market at Christmas time. That's right, so we call it a Santa Claus melon. One of my favorites. You gotta put a bib on when you eat this thing because it's so juicy. Uh, it really, you gotta put a bib on for this thing. It is so sweet and so juicy, I love it. One of my other favorite melons is right here. It's called a canary. Now they have new canaries. Most canary melons are, are football shaped, but this is a canary melon that is more round. Uh, it, and it, yes, it came from the Canary Islands. Uh, and it's yellow, like a canary bird. Again, one of my favorite melons. It's an old style melon, but you will fall in love with this melon. Uh, this is one of the newest melons. Take a look at this, oh my goodness. Uh, this melon here is called a Picasso melon. It's, this is the newest melon on the market. They call it Picasso. What was Picasso well known for? Yes, he was a painter watercolor painter, very famous for that. And it looks like there's watercolor. Somebody painted watercolors on it. So it's called a Picasso melon. My favorite melon of all time is right here. This is called a Charlin melon. If you've never had a Charlin melon, I suggest go out, go on a melon adventure, 
Try different varieties, but you've got to try a Charlotte melon. The Charlotte melon originated in Persia. There is a very famous actress who was in France filming a film back in the 1980s. And every morning she ate a particular melon. And every morning she said, wow, that's the best melon I've ever eaten. So she brought back with her some of the seeds. Now, please don't do that. The USDA and the California Department of Food and Ag, they don't like you bringing seeds from other countries. But she brought these seeds in. She took them to a, a friend of hers in Florida who was a farmer and said, will you grow these? And uh, the, the farmer asked, well, what's the name of this melon? She showed him the name of the melon. It's like 20 letters in it. it. came from Persia, right? So he renamed the melon after his two daughters, Sharon and Lynn. So that's why we have a Charlin melon today. It is one of the most difficult melons to grow because it's so heavy. Every day, the farmer has to go into the field and turn it one quarter turn so that it doesn't get a flat bottom. Every day, another one quarter turn. They also pull the leaves over it to keep it from getting sunburned. So go on a melon adventure, try a different variety of melon. Coming up, more on melons. How do you cut a melon? I'll tell you, coming right up.